language is a curious thing. And the black contribution to the English language has come about in many curious forms. For instance, the phrase, a man is worth his salt, derives from ancient times in Africa when captured slaves were sold for the, their weight in salt, a then precious substance. There's also evidence that the very familiar term, okay, was founded in the black experience. However, be that as it may, we have with us a young man named Paul Mooney, who is quite good with words. He is both okay and is most assuredly worth his salt. Black Omnibus presents Mr. Paul Mooney. I went to school in West Oakland, and uh, then it was uh, a slum. Uh, since then, it's become uh, a ghetto. <laughs> I, I'm saying that because I didn't know what it was till I heard Elvis Presley do it. In the ghetto, who? You know, so, uh, I mean, I've been trying to get into it now that I know what it is. Anyway, I went to school there. <laughs> and a lot of my friends, I'm looking around to see if I see any of my old friends. I see one. We're, we're, uh, or two, maybe three, white people. And, <laughs> no, that's nothing wrong with saying that. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I want to realize it because I know the audience is predominantly black. There's nothing wrong with saying white people. <laughs> and it sounds old-fashioned, but some of my best friends were white. <laughs> no, they were. And I mean, I, I had white friends for days. I mean, for real. Oh, my, I was white back, if you could dig it. <laughs> And I was into my Indira bag. You know where you get that affected speech, Indira. Uh, you, know, you, you heard it, you really. And I was just, I was as white as they got. The white socks, the tennis, I had my little Levi's kind of washed out. <laughs> you know, my folks thought I was crazy. They, come, they said, here come the nut, because I had some little education, right? Indira is dinner. You know, because you know, black, black people don't do that. You know, we, they don't do that. White people do uh, My white friends, they had me trained. I'd say, pass the salt, pass the pepper. You know, they look at me so crazy. Because you know, when black folks sit down, it's none of that kind of stuff. Because you know, black folks, it's, it's it's like beautiful, it's rhythm, it's just, you know, they sit there, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They just be eating the if you, greens, is that hot water cornbread? It'd be, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is make you slap your mama. You know? <laughs> so you've heard that, ooh, you out did you and chop. I mean, this is when we do the real stuff. Let's tell it like it is. You know, and be showing out green, mm, you know. <laughs> but I was into my white bag, so I was just blowing everybody's mind. And so, <laughs> no, really, this is true. In fact, one of my white friends came to my uh, grandmother's house, and she, you know, it ain't nothing like grandma, and you know it, especially black folks. You know, the grandma's hand, that's an understatement. Because, you know, grandma's there, and grandma will kick plenty behind, too. We know that. <laughs> but my grandmother, you know, it's an art. Uh, it's coming back to pressing hair. Those of you who are educated realize what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hot combs, you know, there's an art to it, because you, you can burn a person's head off. <laughs> and she had it, I mean, it was an art. I used to enjoy watching it. You know, and she, you, they'd come in there, I mean, with head, I mean, at tight, tight, tight by King Kedora. <laughs> and and when, they leave, when they leave my grandma's house, she's the boot bootleg. When they leave grandma's house, long, wavy, pretty. I mean, they come in there, really, their hair be so pretty when they leave, right? So one of my white friends, he came over, and he got excited because he'd never seen that before. <laughs> and the first thing he said, this is, you know, he said, please, don't, are you punishing her? Don't punish her. <laughs> So he saw that fire, that iron, you know. Please don't I said, no, she's d doing her hair. Because they think everybody's hair is straight. You know, but everyone, most everybody's hair is straight. Anyway, I used to go to movie theaters, and it was called the Peralta, things like that. That's when they were showing movies like, you ever remember how I'm relating now? I'm in the ghetto, and I'm black and beautiful. No, but, <laughs> but I didn't know that then. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was colored and tired. <laughs> No, no. No, no. Everybody came from the ocean because, the, let's face it, the Indians were here. I hope there are none in the audience because if I was an Indian, <laughs> I would hate everybody. But anyway, the Indians were here and it was cool, you know, and then all they sent all the riffraff from, you know, Europe. So anyway, that's cold, but it's true. They sent the riffraff. They did. Everyone who they didn't want in Europe, go, go, please, go. <laughs> Because it took a year to get over here, please go. You, please, go. Nobody would, you know, like they had their diamonds in position. They're going to leave? Take a year's trip on an ocean that they too, weren't too sure was, if the world was round and all that other stuff? Anyway, <laughs> I get far-fetched. But anyway, when the Italians came over here, their ancestors, we still have, he might be Italian. You know, because they all look somewhat alike. But no, really. Uh, 
<laughs> the Italians remained Italian. Okay, who else came over here? Then the Germans came. The Germans re remained German. And uh, the Polacks, whatever. They all remained what they were. Now, I want you to think about this. Then they brought the slaves. <laughs> they were Africans, but they didn't remain that. Think about that. They got other names. So you can't get psych. You got to get hip to what you are. I mean, I know it's confusing because it's confusing for me. <laughs> but anyway, my life's been interesting. And then, the, you know, then my white friends, uh, I had to get rid of them. I mean, I did. Because it went into a whole new era. Then I became a Negro. Now, that is difficult. <laughs> Being colored is easy because you can be tired of Negro and get away with you. <laughs> but when you have to be a Negro, it is rough. Because <laughs> you have to end in, end in rough to everybody. <laughs> you have to you know, end in rough. And I got so tired of end in rough. And my briefcase and my white voice and trying to get jobs and trying to be educated. And try, it was, I used to go home so tired. I'm not <laughs> I mean, I would be tired. I said, another day of being a Negro, I can't take it. <laughs> and then hope came along and peace, and we became black, and we were liberated. We were all liberated. We became, and I mean, niggas went crazy. <laughs> I ain't lying. Niggas went crazy. Niggas went crazy. Niggas got to wear dashikis. <laughs> they got to taking their names after leopards. <laughs> niggas got to... Niggas, niggas put their razors away. Because, you know, niggas used to be bad. They used to, with their fists, they jump out and beat you up. You call, and that's another thing. We're going to that word, too, which is a beautiful word. Because my uncle almost killed a white man one time. You call, that was a thing, and, you know, it was a rep. Because you were from Louisiana, from Texas. If a white man called you, you get out and you were pissed behind. Or you couldn't live in the ghetto. If I didn't make the mistake, he'd be drunk. They'd say, oh, nigga, they get out of the car and just beat him up, right? <laughs> now if a white man did that, nigga get out and kiss him. Right on. <laughs> I don't, you got it, brother. You, right, you know. That's right, see, because things change. And you, so, but anyway, you know, you change, you get into that word, because nigga can be beautiful, and uh, I'm going to talk about black women for a while, because I love them. They're beautiful things. I love them because they gave us a double meaning to nigga, because, see, uh, the white people would give it to us, but when we go home, they could make it. You know, a black lady can call you a nigga. <laughs> you know, a black woman could call you a nigga in so many words. You come in like, nigga. <laughs> you know, and if she, if she want to be good to this, come here, nigga. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know uh, it's, yeah.